Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for today so i was using the pixel s friends rom from the few days on my oneplus 6 but same developer team released the new more customizable rom called as awaken os for the oneplus 6 and 60. awaken os having the aesthetic of pixel s friends with the addition of some custom features that are missing in a pixel s friends rom so today in this video we will take the tour for the installation and quick review of the rom along with the unique customization feature so without wasting your time let's get started on the new adventure so you need to download the awaken os full rom zip g apps included in this package we also need the finalized zip and the dm variety zip to disable the encryption issue in the twrp first go to the security and disable the pin or the password lock now power up your device and then pressing volume down plus power button your device will put into the twrp latest twrp 3.6 is recommended now tap install select the rom zip file and slide the bar to install now go back again tap install and select the finalized zip after flashing completes go to the advanced and select install current twrp if you don't have this option in the twrp I have given the TWRP installer zip under the video description. Flash that. Now reboot back to the TWRP again. Now flash the DM variety. Now go to the wipe and then tap the format data, type yes and done. Then just tap the reboot to the system. Phone boots with the beautiful boot animation of Awaken OS. Stock wallpaper of Awaken OS looks cool. So let's check the about phone in the settings. Obviously, we are upgraded to Android 12 through the 2.4 Aura version of Awaken OS. Security patch is also updated to fit 5.2022. ROM comes without the premus kernel. It's a normal 4.9.227. Build date is 26.5.2022. So let's check the unique customization features as compared to the Pixel experience. So finally, we got the face unlock in this ROM. So setting up and using the face unlock is super easy and very fast. As this is the initial build under the setting, we didn't get any separate customization tab, but lots of the customization features available in the display setting. In the lock screen tab, we get the instant unlock for the face unlock or the swipeable option to unlock. Separate tab to disable the ripple effect after the unlock. Double tap to check the phone or the wake the phone available and it's working good. Ambient music ticker on the AOD, media art and the music visualizer available. You can see all the customizations working and they looks very nice. Dark theme tab available with the shadowing option which is pretty old feature but instead of that we get the app draw icon shape setting like the pebble, square, teardrop etc. Bunch of the headline or the body fonts available. Especially the oneplus slate and the oneplus sans looks good. Icon pack is the another tab there who gets the bunch of the system icon shapes for the status bar quick setting and the system setting. So the monet theming available. By using this we can disable the wallpaper based theming. Instead of that we can use the ascent color picker, separate colorfulness and the brightness sliders available to set the different values. All these settings helps to give the amazing look to the system. In the display customization tab, we get the battery styles, battery percentage, clock style, AM, PM styles, seconds, and the date customizations. Ambient edge lightning is available, but it is not working. ROM didn't come with the any audio mode, but in the quick settings, we get the audio mode tail, which has the mono and the studio switch. Actually, it's working and giving the different audio depth. ROM has the wallpaper and style app, which has the theme icon, and it's working very good. ROM has the OT updater, but now it's not fully working, causing some forecloses when you try to manually update the system. Google Pixel devices free unlimited storage is available in the Google Photo application. Inside the settings and the app, we get the Google Assistant dedicated tab from there. We can quickly access the Hey Google activation. Hold power button to access the assistant. Google Assistant working perfectly and it can be accessible through the lock screen also. Instead of that, we get the game mode tab similar to the last pixel video. You can check that in a right side card. ROM is passing the safety net by default. I used the safety net app from the Play Store, so all the banking apps will work on this ROM. But still, the wide wine is showing the security level L3, 
so you cannot watch the netflix in a full hd so these are some unique customization but still we will get the new build soon where the developer claimed that they are adding the more features with the proper custom tab like the siberia os so let's check what is working wi-fi and wi-fi networks are working no issue regarding the 5 hertz wi-fi networks bluetooth is also working i tested it with my oppo Echo m31 earphones even high definition ldac is also working good auto brightness is working without any issues stable olt incoming and the outgoing calls are working nfc is also available and working but i didn't test its connections auto rotation and the sound in the video are working and here is a sample hey what's up guys welcome back so all not to use are still waiting for the 4 clean edge os 19 video as i already posted the Alert slider is working and there is a custom setting available to customize the slider position inside the system tab. Camera app is not available in the ROM similar to the Pixel S Friends ROM. So I use the open camera and both the pictures and the video recording is working. Still I have given the OnePlus camera and the Google cam in the video description. Both are working very good. So let's see the performance, ROM is very good in terms of the performance on the single core in the Geekbench app I got the 503 similar to the average results on the multi core it is given the 2028 close to the average result. If we keep aside these results ROM is very good real life performer. Battery life is not tested yet as I installed this ROM on the last night but I took the 2-3 battery cycles on the Pixel S Finch ROM which is the base of this ROM and it's not as good as compared to Siberia. 4 to 5 hours of SOT and 22 to 24 hours of standby time, not completing the whole day with the single charge. So, as I think this ROM has the base of the Pixel S friends, it may give the same results, but still I will report back soon after the full test. So, this is the full review of the new ROM. If you want the look of the Pixel S friends ROM with the some add on custom features, you can definitely go with this ROM. So that's it for today guys if you think i help you please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye